In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your complete charging system, including your battery, on this Honda Element 2007. Let's get started. So I've got my meter here. So for starters, let's put it in the voltage DC mode. Our meter leads. This one's in the voltage, the red one, the black ones in the calm. What's cool about these leads here is they have alligator clips that just screw on. So this makes it very easy to hook it to the battery. So we'll hook the red lead on the plus side of the battery, the positive side, and the black lead on the negative side of the battery. And we'll read my voltage. So I have 12.54 volts here. 12.6 is a fully charged battery. If your voltage is not at least 12.4 volts, you'll wanna recharge your battery and then start this test. But I'm good here. So my next test is I'm gonna crank the starter motor and this voltage cannot go below 9.7 volts. I'm gonna use the min-max feature here this is going to record the minimum amount of voltage and the maximum amount of voltage. But right now, we're only interested in the minimum. So let me crank the starter and let's see how low that will go. So there I cranked the starter. Now let's go to the min max and let's see what my lowest voltage was. The highest was 14.20 because the alternator kicked in. 10.56. If it was 9.6, I would need a new battery. But since I'm 10.6, I'm good here. So our next test, we're gonna check the charging voltage. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to go to the min-max, and if your meter doesn't have min-max, you're just gonna to have to watch it. But since I have min-max, I'm good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the vehicle, turn on the blower motor, the headlamps, and then I'm gonna start the vehicle, rev it up to about 1500 RPMs, and we're gonna look at the voltage and see how high that voltage went. So the blower fan's on all the way. The lights are on. I'm gonna rev it to about 1,500, 2,000 RPMs. I'm putting the alternator under a load. Then I'll go ahead and shut everything down. And let's go check our readings. So we're gonna go ahead and push min-max again. So there was our highest voltage, 14.52. So if we had like 15.5, we would need to do some further investigating because that's too high. Also, if we were just reading battery voltage, let's say 12 volts, that would mean the alternator is not charging. But we're good here. So our alternator seems like it's good. We can do one more test on the alternator and that's to check the diodes inside the alternator. So we're gonna to go to the off again. We're gonna leave our, our leads still connected to the same spot, but this time we're gonna to go to the, the AC mode, not the DC mode. What we wanna see here is under 0.5 volts, so under a half a volt as we're running the vehicle in idle. So let's do that right now. So I've got our vehicle running in idle. Let's take a look at our readings here. So we have 0 0.02321, and that's way under the half a volt specification that I wanted to stay under. Our alternator diodes are good here. 
Let me shut that off. So now our next test is gonna be a parasitic draw test. So to do the parasitic draw test, let's go ahead and shut the meter down. This lead, let's take that off. Let's take this off for now. This lead is gonna go in the amp scale. This one's gonna to go to the amp DC. We're gonna come over to our meter leads. So what we're trying to do here is we want, we're gonna disconnect the negative cable from the post here. And all the current is gonna go through this, through the meter, and back here. And what we're looking for is something in the vehicle maybe left on or something that's pulling that current. So to do that, first let's loosen up this cable. There's a thing called a memory saver, which keeps your memory alive. Uh, that way your radio doesn't lock out and your seats stay all programmed. I don't have one of those, so I'm gonna show you a trick now. You're gonna put the black lead on the negative cable. And on this one, I'm gonna take the alligator clip off. And I'm just gonna put this on the post. And then I'll pull my cable off. So right now, I should be reading all the current that's going through this battery right now on that meter. Let me see if I can put this here so I can go look at it right now with you. There it is. So what, what's happening here is all the current that's coming out of that battery is going through my meter and then going back into the battery. So I got eight milliamps. 50 is the specification. On most newer cars, you're gonna see eight milliamps, three milliamps. Um, you're not gonna see 50. Um, so I would say on these newer cars now, the spec's more like 25 and not 50. So at this point, my battery's good, my alternator's good, my diodes are good, I do not have a parasitic draw, and I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and I also have a video, which I'll link in the description, of doing the parasitic draw test. Thanks for watching.